At last year's Geneva Motor Show, Porsche shocked everyone with the incredible surprise reveal of the 918 Spider, a concept petrol-electric hybrid supercar that nobody saw coming. Its recently unveiled race car cousin, the 918 RSR concept, is here this year. But that's not the big Porsche news in 2011. Porsche is claiming historical ownership of the whole hybrid idea, with a newly created recreation of the Sempus Vivus, or Always Alive, taking pride of place on the stand. Originally conceived by Ferdinand Porsche back in 1900, it is apparently the world's first fully functioning hybrid vehicle. It's here alongside Porsche's latest petrol electric offering, the Panamera S Hybrid which becomes the second model in Porsche's contemporary hybrid line after the Cayenne S Hybrid, launched last year. The Panamera uses the same basic drivetrain configuration as the Cayenne, a 333 horsepower 3 litre supercharged V6 paired with a 47 horsepower electric motor. Do the math and you'll see that's a 380 horsepower total output. Enough to see this big four-seater saloon hit 62 miles per hour in just six seconds, while still returning an impressively low 159 grams per kilometer CO2. That's equivalent to 41.5 mpg. But making the Panamera Hybrid all the more economical in the real world is the clever tech that goes along with it. For example, electric only motivation is possible at speeds of up to 53 miles per hour. The battery won't last long, but try that in a Toyota Prius. While well, the neat sailing mode switches off the engine and disconnects the drivetrain whenever there is no demand for power, even if you happen to be travelling at 103 miles an hour at the time. It was this, or a diesel. We think Porsche made the right choice, but that doesn't mean a diesel Panamera isn't coming.